So I just read for the Divine Feminine update, meaning it's for the masculines to spy on their Divine Feminines, see what she's doing, what she's feeling, okay? Now we're going to do one for the feminines. What is your Divine Masculine doing? What is he feeling? What has he been up to in life, all right? So let's dive right in. Um, my tea's gone. All right, that's my chair. If you hear some squeaking, that's my chair. We'll do it in the same order as we did for the feminines. I'll try to remember what cards we need. We're going to start with the totem spirits animal. Um, welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. It's your girl Bunny here. We're going to dive right in. All right, I've already cleaned our space. Actually, let me sound clean this area one second. <laughs> All right, this went crazy with my bell. All right, so we're going to pull the Totem Animal Spirit card. And um, if you see this Animal Spirit Guide, then that's your confirmation that this is your masculine. And your masculine um, is seeing this Spirit Guide as well. You guys are both probably seeing it together because you are one one well we're all one but you know what i mean you guys are really one one <laughs> speaking of one one i've been seeing one 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 a lot lately all right feminines what's the spirit totem animal that's guiding your masculine we have snake oof craziness look at that snake all right, the snake represents transformation, healing, sexuality, and rebirth. Ooh, I told you I could feel it. The feminine has been feeling very sensual and sexual. and looks like the masculines have as well. You guys are perfect mirrors of each other. The snake has been given numerous symbolic qualities over time and across cultures. From sexual, compassionate, and clairvoyant qualities to the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Poisonous snakes have been associated with transformation and healing in many Native American belief systems. The poison is thought to activate primal energies, which, if manipulated correctly, can cure rather than kill. Wow, the Native American symbology has been coming up for me a lot. Um, in the Middle Eastern epic Gilgamesh a serpent acquires the flower of everlasting youth which allows it to shed its skin and be reborn this is a transformation so the masculines are undergoing a strong transformation good for you your feminine is too just so you know it was the same energy this painting entitled rattler is of a snake dancer it represents a character from buffalo gals won't you come out tonight? A story written by Ursula K. Ligun and illustrated by Boulay. Beautiful. So, oh, it was just 333 when I looked at my camera clock. You can't make it up. So, feminines, your masculine is undergoing a huge transformation. Allow it to happen. Okay, because this brings him one step closer to your union, right? Um, both of you are undergoing a huge transformation, feminines. So give space and allow. He can't step up if he's not ready, right? You got to let him become the man that you know you deserve. All right, what else do we have? I'm going to pull from the Earth Magic cards. All right. So what does the masculine want the feminine to know right now? What does the masculine want the feminine to know? Right? Connecting to the Divine Masculines. Wow. Two cards came out. <clears throat> and their spirit guides and ancestors and star family and their higher self. We already have my guides here and Archangel Michael to help protect this space. Which I created, we have earth magic, fairies, and winter solstice reflection. So, the winter solstice reflection came out in reverse, which is strange. So, the divine masculine um, is having some trouble doing 
reflecting of himself, right? He's trying to understand what went wrong in the connection. So he is trying to reflect on parts of himself. However, he is struggling. It wouldn't have came out in reverse if he wasn't struggling. So he is having some issues with trying to figure out what it is within himself that has created this distance between you, okay? So I just think that he needs to meditate more often, maybe. Um, I think he's getting there. What is that beeping? I just heard a beeping. That's strange. All right. And then we have fairies, earth magic. So... Your masculine might be really tied to like the elementals. He might have a special connection to fairies. Possibly both of you do. I know I definitely do. And I would consider myself the feminine. So, um, you guys might be assisted by elementals. You know, he might be or the masculines, they, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a male, you know, it's, this is for both sexes. It's, it's also for same sex twins. I know y'all are out there. I see you. Um, but the masculine is maybe turning to elemental magic. Um, at this point in time, there is an energy surrounding both of the twin parties right now. The masculine and the feminine of magic, of manifestation, right? Of both of you trying to manifest each other, trying to manifest a union. Came out for the feminine as well, okay? All right, Um. what else? What card did I do next? I don't even remember. All right, so we're going to go into the the astrology reading card the feminines reading that I uploaded it's going to be for the masculines to spy on their feminines it was really really long so um, I'm going to try to not make this one as long because I do have other things to do but your girl is here she's present with y'all Sometimes the readings get really long. Sometimes spirit makes it short and sweet. Hopefully this is a short and sweet one because I got stuff to do. I got to go get my car an oil change tomorrow because I will be traveling um, to my hometown to see my family. My dad. He's the only one I really talk to in my family. I mean, I do talk to my siblings, but I'm not as close as I am. All right. What does the... Feminines need to know about what their masculine is going through. What does the masculine want the feminines to know right now? We have ooh, a house card, the sixth house, the work, health, and duty area of your life. So your masculine right now is really focused on the sixth house area, which is like what he does for work. Um, he might even be up in his, you know, exercise routine. He's preparing for union. He's preparing to smash that ass, feminines. <laughs> he knows he has to be in tip-top shape to be able to hit that <laughs> at all moments in time, right? All right. He's feeling really called to change everything around in his life because he wants to be able to take care of you. Even though, you know, you don't need him to, he wants to be able to play that role, Right? He wants to be able to give so that way you can receive, if you know what I mean. Okay, the area of this life is the realm of work, duty, and service. Nice. It includes health and matters to do with wellness and fitness. It also concerns how we care for our bodies. Told you he was working out. With regards to regular medical matters, such as routine health appointments. You may have concerns about your health and decide to take up diets, nutritional supplements, or exercise routines to manage your health better. So some of the masculines might be going through some health crises right now. And it's inspiring them to change their health, okay? In this house, we worry about overindulgence. Oh, they're feeling like they're fat. 
<laughs> and denying ourselves too much self-gratification. Oof. So it's a good time to reduce the calories that you consume. So the masculines are feeling like they're not good enough for you. They're feeling, they might be feeling a little bit pudgy. But this relates to both sexes, right? To both, you know, energies, masculine and feminine. The feminines might be feeling it too. They might be feeling like they put on a little winter weight. They want to look, you know, tight for the masculines. And he feels the same way. Y'all are both getting ready for some good loving. <laughs> All right. If you select a zodiac sign, it would describe the universal energy that influences these matters. We didn't grab one of those. This area of your life also includes work that must be done. See, they're worrying about what they must do in order to bring you closer to union. They're worried about their finances, things like that. Their working environment, their fellow workers. The work could be done for an income or to keep your house in good order. So they're trying to find steady, steady financial security. Hundreds of years ago in astrology, the sixth house also included one's servants. Ooh, they might be, some of these masculines are working hard. They building up the squillas. It's still about service today, but now it is about how we serve. So the, your masculine is trying to figure out how he serves humanity and how he, he can do this best with you. He's thinking about how you will serve humanity together, right? Your, your shared mission, as all twins have a shared mission. It's in this house that we can find pleasure and fulfillment when a task is well done because we feel good when we honor our sense of duty and hard work. One last thing concerns worry, for this is the worry area of your life. Oh, the masculines are worried. They're worried they're not going to be able to create that foundation in order to step up because they're really, really yearning for union. Like, I can feel it. It's like they're ready, but they might not be financially ready, and so it's pissing them off. If it says, um, if, if you are worried, then you should know that this is to be expected and entirely in keeping with this part of your personality. Your concerns are simply a part of life that we have to dip into now and again. So they're human, right? They're worried that they're not going to be able to provide. They keep us on our toes and make sure that we pay extra special attention to something that we wouldn't bother with otherwise. So there's no need to worry too much about your worry. So d the divine masculine right now is feeling a little bit of worry and concern that maybe he can't step up to the plate. But at the same time, he's so connected to you. And, you know, the feminine is all about going with the flow and allowing and, you know, flowing with life. And so he's starting to feel that aspect of not worrying as much he's taking that from you right that example feminines so continue to send those vibrations over to him so he can realize it's not a big deal your finances and everything will fall into place when you guys come into union all of that will work itself out all of those things will fall into place as you guys combine finances and combine energies and combine love and combine body fluids too. <laughs> Just saying. All right. What are we doing now, spurts? Okay, let's move on to what deck did we use next? We used the Whispers of Love card. Wow, yeah, this reading's really short. It's short. But we're still we're gonna pick a charm for y'all. Where's the charms at? What do we do with them? What do we do with them? Oh, they're over there. Okay. Ooh. Oof. So I, I keep getting this energy of like feeling scattered. So your masculine might have a really hard time concentrating right now. They're feeling really scattered because right now the only thing they can focus on is you. They're so in their heads about this connection, but they can't, they can't stop thinking about you feminines. They're really, really in their heads about it. And it's driving them crazy and they can't focus and they can't eat and they can't sleep and they can't think and they're just driven. It's almost this weird 
sort of not being able to focus ADHD feeling, right? All right, what else do our feminines need to know about what their masculine is going through? It's driving them nuts. For some of them, they can't even focus on work. Ooh, two cards came out. We have embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. See, the, the masculines are... They're not in full acceptance of this connection. It's almost like they've never felt this way about anyone. And it's so scary for them. It's scary for you as well, probably. You know, you guys are a mirror, right? You guys have that shared energy. So if one of you can take this fear by the throat and slap it in the ass, you'll be good. So allowing yourself to feel your emotions feminine is going to allow your masculine to feel his emotions. He's not used to feeling his emotions though, right? The masculines are raised. Oh, you got to be tough. You got to be a man. You can't cry. You can't love. You can't love. Well, you can love. You can, you can lust, right? They teach him, oh, lust. Think with your weenie. <laughs> but it's not okay to feel with your heart. You don't fall in love. You fall in the pussy. <laughs> right? So it's it's confusing for them because they feel something in their heart for you. I mean, they want to plow you too, but they feel it in their heart. They feel it in the heart. They feel the connection, the heart connection. They feel like they love you, even if they don't know you. They feel like they love you, and it's confusing for them. Because they're like, I don't just want to, I don't just want to have sex with her. I don't just want to. They do. Trust me, they do. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not the only thing they want to do. They feel it's magic. They feel, they feel the magic. They feel something different with you. Right? Wow. Look, this is why. It's because it's a spiritual connection. Damn, told you. Twin flames, spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Look, they're even, oh my God, they're even connected by the silver cord, right? Your twin flame is never apart from you because he's connected to you by the, tw the silver cord. So feminines, he feels that connection. He might not be able to put it into words. He might not be able to say, I feel like this when we text and we chat or when we talk or when we see each other and when I look into your eyes and when I stare at your pictures on Instagram or I listen to you and your voice and when you're talking to me on the phone and I can't tell you that I'm so crazy about you. I feel you in my heart. I feel your energy. I feel your lust. I feel your love. I feel everything that you feel. He can't say all that, right? He wants to so desperately because it's a spiritual connection. You guys have needed each other in, in each. I meant to say no, we have known each other, but I said needed. Wow. There's no accidents. They feel like they need you. I need you. I keep hearing it. I need you. I need you so bad right now. They know that you guys have known each other in past lives. There's so many channel messages coming in. This is nine, twice, seven. Can you see that? Seven and two, nine, eight and one, nine. Oh, look at that. It's a Pegasus. Oh, I'm sorry. My cat's going crazy. Nine. What is... I was just looking up angel numbers the other day because I got 111-222-333-444-555-666-777-888-999 all in one day. And I was like, this is insane. <laughs> Yesterday that happened to me. Yesterday. And I couldn't understand it. And I, I, had, to, I had to look it up. I had to look up all the angel numbers. I think 999 means abundance and manifestation. I have to look it up. If you 
feminines, if you're watching and you know what 999 means, please put it in the comment below so I can remember. I'm pretty sure it means abundance and manifestations coming true. Your masculine may be trying to um, manifest you hardcore. He wants to demonstrate how he feels, but he's not sure he can put it into words. So he's trying to learn about you. If that makes sense. He might be watching your social media, spying on you, but not in a way that you know, right? He might be, he's a detective. He just turned into a detective overnight. <laughs> He's trying to get on your YouTube page to see what kind of videos you're watching, right? Like he's trying to just, he's, he turned into, he turned into, um, <laughs> I can't think of it. What's that fucking detective? I'm, it's so funny. He turned into Sherlock Holmes overnight. <laughs> Watson? I don't know, Watson. I think she likes tarot. Professor Watson, I think maybe she likes chocolate in her coffee. <laughs> I can't take it. It's so good. <laughs> oh, he, turned, he turned into Sherlock Holmes overnight because you stopped all communication and all of a sudden it's like either, either, you stopped communication or he discovered something. The truth was revealed. He knows who you are now. And now he's, he turned into Sherlock Holmes. Oh my gosh. He's spying on you, but in a way that you can't, that you don't know. He's smart about it. He may have created even a fake profile to, to look at your stuff. How obsessive. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. It's so funny. Oh my God, I can't stop laughing about it. Okay, so we were, okay. We're not gonna do the unicorn oracle yet and the messages from your person. We are going to do um, the tarot. Where's the other tarot deck? I had, oh, it's right here. <clears throat> okay, so let's start with the tarot. Oh, this reading is going to get long, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Let's see. Okay. Um, all right. Let's dive in. Tarot. Let's try to keep this short and sweet, Spirit. Please. 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 All right. So let's keep a time limit. So let's get six cards from here. That one flips. Four of wands. So your masculines are trying to create some stability for themselves. Therefore, they have something to offer, something stable to offer. You know, um, sadness. Wow, five of cups, sadness. But it came out in reverse. So there's this sense of like playful joy that your masculine is feeling. So he's mirroring you because the feminines have been in this very playful, fun mood as well. So where he felt hopeless in the past, now he feels playful and he feels joy because he's coming up with a plan. He's like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to, I'm going to fix this, right? So he knows he has to come to the goddess's temple with a gift and he's thinking of something really big to do. He has a plan. So it's making him happy. Four of Cups. Boredom. Oh, he's so antsy, right? He's so antsy. Look, this came out for both the feminine and the masculine. A wish. Nine of Cups. So they're so antsy. The Four of Cups is about being bored, being antsy, right? He's so, so antsy. He's got ants in his pants. He's like... He knows now that you're his wish fulfillment. You're his wish come true. And it's driving him crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. He can't get out of his head about it. 
keeps him up at night, can't sleep, can't think, can't barely focus at work. He might not even be working right now. Right? Like, if he does a certain thing, like say he's, say he's someone who's in the public eye and he does something, um, He would have stopped doing it at this point. I feel like a lot of the masculines have taken a break. I know I was talking to one of my friends, one of my really good friends, and he's taking a break off work. He took a, a week off work. And I feel like a lot of the masculines are doing that right now. It's because they can't focus. They can't focus on anything but, but their feminines. What her hair smells like. Right? What her lips will taste like. It's driving them crazy. They think about it a lot. Something was revealed with the Nine of Cups, though. It's like they all of a sudden woke up to the connection. Seven of Pentacles. And see, look, they're they're... They've gotten really serious about their spiritual work. And they're also working hard in the 3D. Right? Before they decided to take their break off work, they were working really hard because they were trying to create something. It's almost like there's this energy of I'm, I'm working really hard. It's like they're trying to stay busy to try to not focus on this. Right? Right? They're also trying to, to save a bunch of money because they don't want to come empty handed. If that makes sense, they want to save money. There's like this very traditional vibe. It's like they want to be able to take care of you. Like the old school, old fashioned. Even if you, they know you can take care of yourself. Right? They don't want to just have the potential to take care of you. They want to take care of you. One more card, please, sir. Yeah, they're so in it. Final card. The, the masculine wants the feminine snow. Oh, man. They're going crazy. The chariots. So this is forward movement, okay? They're having, so if this is your masculine, this is, okay, so the, the chariot is cancer, right? But the energy is very cancerian. So he, for example, if you're, your masculine would be very stoic at this time. For some of you, you're probably not in a communication at all, right? If they are in communication with you, they're very in control of their emotions on the surface right it's it feels like they they would be very stoic very almost cold and detached with you very in control look controlling their emotions control holding back but because they've been doing that for so long the pot is about to overboil. The lid on the pot is flying off. It's going to all come rolling out. Rolling like a wave of water. It's an overspill. I just heard it's an overspill. Oh man, this energy is crazy. I have to disconnect really soon because even I'm even feeling my masculine and it's overwhelming me. Like feeling the energy of the antsiness and the the, the wound up pent up sexual energy. Both of you have have been celibate for a long time. Can I say that? That's what it feels like. There's a urgency coming from the masculine and it hurts. <laughs> it's hurting me. <clears throat> I want to disconnect from them right now. So let me just rush through this reading. And it's all it's a weird pain 
pain in my heart. Like, they are so confused about these feelings. They didn't expect it, right? We have judgment. Wow. Get six from this step, please. Judgment. For some of you, you're a key holder and so is your person. If you know what that is, you know what it is. I'm not going to explain it because this, this reading is not going to be for everyone, right? That's how you'll know. That's how you'll know it's for you. Because you'll know what a key holder is. And some parts will resonate and some won't. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, they've been really slow and really patient about this connection. Queen of Cups. She's ready. The feminines are ready and the masculine knows it and that's why they're getting nervous. They've been really patient waiting for her. You guys have been waiting for each other, but the timing was off. It wasn't the right time. There was still some more spiritual lessons. There was some unfinished business. There was some things, some loose ends that needed to be tied up. But as things start to shift and things move forward very quickly, they're getting impatient, as the feminine is too. And because they know the feminine is ready, the Queen of Cups is about being open and receptive. They know emotionally she's ready and it, and it's making them really antsy. There's something being resurrected. The judgment is about something being resurrected, ascended, right? It's a reconciliation. For those of you that are not in communication with your twin, it's communication. It's a resurrection, a reconciliation. I got reconciliation in my personal read for myself last night. And I looked up the dictionary word and it said like a, a rekindling of something. Someone returning. Two people coming to a conclusion about something, right? I just said as the energy moves and goes quickly. Damn. See? Eight of Wands. I told you. Divine timing. Things are going to start moving quickly because it's the right time. Divine timing. Eight of Wands is fast forward movement. And we got the chariot, which also meant movement. So your masculine... They're going to move really quickly. Once they know, they know. Once they put all of the, they connect all the dots of the puzzle, the color by number, once they figure it out, they're going to move towards you really quickly. It's going to go fast. For some of you, overwhelming, right? For those of you that are in no communication, the judgment is about the rekindling. It's about the re re oh, what did i say the resurgence right can't remember the word i use now it's driving me crazy the world wow yup see the world is about getting everything that you want this masculine knows what he wants He's just not sure. He's not sure how to go about it. That's what it is. For those that are in separation, he's going to have to be very, very brave. He's going to have to stand up. He's going to have to come authentically. That's what the feminine wants. That's what she knows she deserves, right? Where he may have been holding on to all of his feelings. Now he knows in order to come into this world... Where everything that he's wants, everything that he's ever wanted, he knows, remember with the nine of cups, he knows you're his wish fulfillment. He knows this is the path to his next spiritual evolution is this creative mission with his twin soul, his twin flame, with his divine counterparts, his feminine counterpart. So feminines. He knows in order to get to this level of having everything that he wants, the money, the 
whatever it is, the money, the spiritual um, evolution, the love, he has to let go. He has to release these emotions. He has to drop the coins on the floor. Boom. He has to lay out all of his cards to the feminine and say, this is what I want. You are what I want. You are what I need. I cannot travel the road alone anymore. My soul yearns for yours. Boom. That's a perfect place to end that. We are going to pull an oracle card from the from the unicorn oracle. Oracle of the unicorn. And then we're going to pull some charms for you and then we're going to end with the messages of your masculine's heart. What he wants to tell you, but he can't spit it out right all right what else do we need to know what do we need to know oh this one flew out intuition i told you the masculines are finally 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 it's happened to me right in front of my face and i just can't deny it <laughs> they're finally starting to use their intuition feminines they're finally realizing it's you god it took them so long stupid <laughs> so irritated intuition look they're tapping into that side the feminine side there's something about the roses that keeps standing out in the red lips they might have saw a picture or a video of you in the red with the red lipstick on. Oh man, their heart just jumped out of their chest. Something about the red lips. I keep seeing, oh, like red lips. Something about when you wore the red lipstick. It made them nuts. Look, I have a rose here too. Something about the red rose. Look, there's a lot of red here. But look, there's the red roses. Roses represent passion and love. It was funny. When I used to work as a florist, the men would come in, right? And they would say, I want a bouquet for my girlfriend. And I would say, do you love her? And they would say, yes. And I would say, how much do you love her? <laughs> and they would say, oh, so much. And I'd say, "You are you passionate about her? Does she drive you crazy? And they would start laughing and they would go, yeah, yeah, all of that. And I would say, then red roses. Roses convey passion, deep, passionate, sexual passion, and deep love, a soul connection kind of love. And they would always stare at me like I was crazy, right? But then they would go, yeah, that's what I need. I need red roses. <laughs> it is true. How much do you love her, right? Does the sight of her red lips make your heart thump that's how they feel feminines right they see red when they think about you intuition listen to the whispers of your heart use divination tools to help you decide trust your intuition no matter what see the masculines are finally starting to listen to the voice of spirit they're listening to their intuition and the everything's all the signs all the stars are pointing to you and they're finally waking up to this connection they knew it before but they pushed it aside they're like no now it's not her now i'm i'm thinking about this one is this one is this one but now it's spirit slapped him over the head something was revealed they may be using tarot as well just like you if you use tarot feminines they might be, you know, using their, their runes or their tarot cards or whatever it is that they use to divine their Ouija boards, whatever. That's what they're using. They're like, is she the one? <laughs> they turned into us, basically. <laughs> so stupid. It's so funny. I can't take it. It's so funny. Now they know how we felt. Every time we was pulling tarot cards about them, like, is he the one, spirit? And then Spirit didn't tell us shit, and you're like, oh my god. 
All right, we're going to pull a charm for this connection. Ooh, boom. I'm going to pull a few. So we have this. It's the cello. Oh, I know what that one means. Your masculine is fearing, feeling very melancholy. Oh, he's all up in his head. I told you he was overthinking. I told you. I freaking... Okay, I'm not even looking. I'm just grabbing. Oh, and we have the kitty cats. We have the heel and the kitty cats. Okay, let's... Okay, so feminines, before I did this reading, I... um. I talked to my spirit guides and all I have all these charms here and I went through each one individually and I had them give me a regular um, message for like when I'm not doing love readings and then a love message for each charm and it took a really long time but it was so worth it because this is really cool. So I wrote down all the meanings that they gave me. All right, so we have the cello. Let's look it up. Oh, see, deep in thought melancholy oh i told you they were up in their heads they're sad they're melancholy they're feeling almost like depressed because they're overthinking everything they're like oh why did i do what i do why do i do what i do why did i do this to you you're so great why did i do this why did i screw this up I just want to squeeze your butt, but I screwed it up because I'm dumb. <laughs> and they're all in their heads about it. No, oh, poor masculines. They be okay. Okay. So, and then we had the heel. The pink heel. Oh, seduction. Look at that. Oh, feminines. Oh, feminines. They're all oh, feminines, feminines. They are thinking about, oh my gosh. They're thinking about what it would be like to seduce you. Oh my gosh. They're thinking about what it would be like if you seduce them. Oh, they can't take it. They're imagining you in different positions on top of them, them behind you in heels. Oh my God, it's driving them crazy. It's also doing other things to them. It's making them like the Eiffel Tower, if you know what I mean. I'm going to use code words here. Erect. Erect like a tower. <laughs> They might be like touching themselves, thinking about you lately. Wow. That's, oh my gosh, you cannot make it up. Wow. Ooh, it just got steamy up in here. We have the pussy cat. Let's see, where's the cat? Ooh, I told you. Sensuality. I told you twice. We have, look, seduction. And sensuality. So you know how cats are very slinky. They're very sensual. The way a cat stretches. It's just there's a sensuality about cats. The way that they stretch their bodies. Cats are very feminine. They have very feminine energy. Right? In Egypt cats were worshipped. Just like the feminines were. Because they represented the feminine energy. The goddess energy. Right? And the Egyptians worshipped them as a as a, a bearer of magic. Cats were believed to be very magical, right? And that's how this masculine sees you, feminines. They see you as very magical and very sensual. And there's a very witchy vibe about you, which kind of scares them a little bit. <laughs> but at the same time, it excites the shit out of them. I keep hearing, I've never met anybody like you. This is a song. Is a song like that? I never met no one like you. I don't know. I keep hearing it. I don't know. It sounds like a song, but either way, there's, there's something about the sensual way that you carry yourself that drives them crazy. 
it's bringing out their sexuality. I feel like they've been touching themselves a lot lately in regards to the to to you when they they're thinking about you a lot at night and in the morning when they first wake up. I got to disconnect from this energy. All right, we're going to do the secret messages of his heart and I'm done. I'm done. I can't stay connected to this energy. These masculines are something else right now, okay? I'm done. I don't want to be connected <laughs> to them anymore. <laughs> uh, the, ma the feminines are already going crazy enough as it is. Now we got the masculines on board. This is ridiculous. I told you. I told you thinking about you at night. I am so good at my job. First card, I watch you sleep in the astral. So for some of you, your masculine might be very powerful. He might remote view you if he knows how to do that. He's a very strong spiritual force. He might remote view you. He might astral travel to your bedroom and watch you sleep. If he's not doing that, he's daydreaming about watching you sleep. He's envisioning you in the bed next to him. And oh, he's touching himself to you. It's just like that, feminine. Guaranteed. If you're watching this reading, don't doubt it. Claim all of it. I feel it. I'm an energy reader. It feels overwhelming. Two hearts, one love. I want, oh, this is not the second one that came out. The second one that came out is we've had so many lives and loves together. See, they're, they're open, they're open and receptive to the connection. Whereas before they may have been fighting it. Now they accept it. They know it. If they didn't know who you were before, they know now. Spirit slapped him in the head with it. Like a, like the slap, like slapping him with a fish across the face. They got a fish face. <laughs> they got fish faced. Spirit slapped him with a fish and said, wake up. <laughs> oh, wake up, dummy. She's yours. What are you doing? How could you let this one get away? Are you daft? Right? <laughs> Spirit said, how many signs do I have to give you? Jeez Louise. Do I have to show you her name 50 million more times? Do I have to show you women that look just like her walking around you with the blonde hair or with the curls or with the juicy bo boobies? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what your feminine looks like. But everywhere you go, you see people that look like her and you go, oh, that reminds me of so and so and so and so and spirit goes yeah because that's your person why are you fighting this <laughs> duh it's so dumb it's so dumb oh my god you gotta laugh the journey is supposed to be fun you guys don't take everything so seriously it's incredible isn't it they know they know you now they they've recognize that you guys have had many lives and loves together they're awake to the connection it's beautiful and y'all better like and share the hell out of this video because it's hilarious <clears throat> my stomach is growling and i need to get something to eat and oh my god here i am and they want to give you the world look at that she's content with what she has the feminine's holding up what little possessions she has. And she's like, I'm so happy and I'm so grateful. And the masculine's going, oh, I can give you so much more. I can give you the world. I want to give you my heart. I want to give you so much money. I want to give you Prada. I want to give you Gucci. I wanna... <laughs> they just want to give you everything. All of it. They want to give you all those things that they know that you never had. They want to show you what real love is. Real love. I'm talking about a real love. Mary J. Blige. <laughs> oh my God. They want to show you the good life. And here is the feminine. And she's just content with her little tiny space and her little tiny life. She's all happy. She's like, yay, I'm so content. And he's like, but I can make you more content, woman. 
I'm going to give you the world. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, y'all. I got to go. I don't know what's gotten into me. I'm delirious. I got to go. I blame it on the masculines. It's their fault. I can't. They're driving me mad. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. And something that's really resonated. Please hit the like button. Please share with all your friends. I've had so much fun doing the masculine and the energy, masculine and feminine reads. I laughed just as hard in the feminine read. So if y'all want to watch that as well, I had a blast. Oh man, both of the parties are feeling very playful and fun. So vibrations are high. Okay, <laughs> really, really high frequency off the chis arts <laughs> i love you guys so much if you want to book a reading with me then just click in the description box all my prices are there believe me baby i'm worth it every single penny <clears throat> we will laugh we will love and we will tell stories who's got the tea i got the tea <laughs> all right um there's ways to support me i have two tip jars i have cash app and also paypal um, I also have a Patreon, so if you want to support me, like, um, let's see, it's, I think it's, it's, I only have one tier, it's $5 a month, so it's not going to break your pockets for crying out loud, <laughs> so support your girls so we can continue to do this and have fun, okay, to give is to receive, I love you, I love you feminines, you are doing so good, hang in there, it's almost over, I promise, it's almost over. Okay? I love you. Bunny loves you. Okay? Bye.